Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how we can set up Flutter Fire CLI. If you ever used Firebase with Flutter, you'd know how much of a trouble it is to set up specific configuration for each platform manually. Flutter Fire is a tool that provides commands to help ease the installation process of Flutter Fire across all supported platforms. For this, we need first to have Node.js installed into our computer. And then we are going to install the Firebase tools. So I'm going to run this command npm install minus g firebase tools and I added sudo just to be safe here. All right, all good. Just to make sure that firebase is installed, we run this command firebase minus minus version. As you can see, it was installed. Okay, so now we are going to log in into our firebase account with this command firebase login. Okay, so now I'm going to pick this account and I'm going to allow firebase CLI to access my account and the login was successful. Okay, so back into our terminal. Yes, we are successfully logged in. Now we need to install the Flutter Fire CLI. So I'm going to type this command, dart pub global activate Flutter Fire CLI. All right, great. Now we are set up and ready to start the Firebase setup process. Therefore, we run this command inside the Flutter project. As you can see, I am currently inside a Flutter project. Just the simple counter app we get at the beginning of any Flutter project. So I'm going to type the Flutter Fire configure command. This command fetches all the available Firebase project associated with a logged in account. As you can see, we have three Firebase project. Of course, I can create a new one, but I'm going to pick this one, the first one. I'm going to select only the Android and the iOS platforms. Okay, so now we are setting up Android with Firebase. And now we are setting up iOS. Of course, this is the bundle ID and the package ID of our project. Great. Okay, so now we are set up. As you can see here, uh, in the lib folder, we have the Firebase option file, which was generated automatically for us. Okay, great. Now we are going to write some code into our main.dart. For this, first we need to add the Flutter, the Firebase core into our project. Flutter pub adds Firebase core. Great. Okay. Now we are going to import it and we are going to import the Firebase options, the file that was generated automatically and into our main function which is the entry point of our application we add this widget flutter binding ensure initialized and await firebase initialize app with the default firebase option for the current platform and of course we should mark the function as return in future to use the await keyword and that's it our flutter project is set up and ready to use firebase this was super easy thanks to the flutter fire cli